Okay, good morning, good day, magandang araw. Today we will have um, episode three, which is an evaluation of what we have studied and discussed yesterday. Hopefully you get at least 50% of this, all right? So again, this is sharing of my screen, Epi3 evaluation. And today, you will recall greetings from episode number three, uh, episode two, which was yes, two, which was yesterday. I'm sorry, I don't know why. Anyway, in distinguished common greetings in Filipino and English. So this time around, I am going to say the, um, Filipino greetings, and then you tell me what greeting is that in English. All right. Kumusta mga kaibigan? Kumusta mga kaibigan? My picture is so distorted. That means Hello, friends. All right, so um, I forgot this one yesterday. This is another common greetings uh, with Filipinos. When you meet one another, we always say, Kumusta? That means hello. Um, this word came from uh, Spanish and um, it means hello and how are you? All right. It, in Spanish, it, would, it should be como esta. But then in Filipino, it's been shortened. I mean, it was infused or uh, joined como esta. All right. And then we also use our um, letter K, not the C that we had uh, before. Anyway, so magandang araw. Magandang araw. Magandang araw. So, what is this in English? Um, tally how many uh, correct answers you will get. And then so at least next day, maybe tomorrow or this afternoon, I will have to record another one again. And it should be, I will, I'm going to say it in English and then you say it in Filipino. All right. So it should be beautiful day. Next, magandang umaga. And magandang umaga in English should be, all right, take your answer, should be good morning. Remember I told you yesterday you need to put an emphasis also on the feelings, on the emotion that you have for the moment. So you do not say good morning. That means you're sad. Um, you have to stress something that you are happy to meet or welcome somebody. So you have to say, good morning. And then, magandang tanghali. Although this is not really a common greeting because we only have at least morning and afternoon. But in case you want to use this, like noontime, magandang tanghali. And what is that? Good noon. Noon is tanghali. That means middle of the day. Magandang hapon. Again, magandang hapon starts from at least 1 o'clock to at least 5 o'clock. Once it is evening, it's different thing. Or magandang gabi. Or magandang, um, magandang gabi means good, morning, good evening. All right. Good afternoon. If you got that, make a tally. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. To all of you. That's magandang gabi to all of you. So maganda is, um, is a word which means beautiful, good. So uh, you have two meanings. Just like Pretty, beautiful, awesome, wonderful, amazing. Those means just one, good. And that is good evening. 
And then, maligayang bati, when you are trying to greet somebody on a special occasion, just like birthdays, weddings. Actually, on weddings, you can just say congratulations and best wishes. Um, but when you are congratulating somebody, maligayang bati, or happy birthday, or congratulations. I think you, we can expound this to different um uh, different words that connotes one meaning all right happy birthday to you anyway now salamat po so when somebody says uh, after the evaluation of english and filipino tomorrow or this afternoon then we're going to go into conversation using all these greetings like there, there, I will, I will try to at least get some uh, conversations with using some of these greetings and then at least, you know, when you are going to say it. All right. So that would be an authentic uh, application of what you are learning its episode. Salamat po. Salamat po. I forgot you're welcome that i am going to uh that i am going to insert this afternoon too thank you and how you say you're welcome wala pong anuman or walang anuman don't say no problem <laughs> um you know when you when you are uh, when somebody says you're welcome do not respond by no problem it's just not ethical you just have to say you're welcome. Thank you, and you're welcome. Maraming salamat po. So, I uh, I think I said yesterday that you can use salamat po for like your counterparts, your peers. But if it is a profound way of saying thank you, then you can use maraming salamat po or thank you very much. Well appreciated uh grateful to get this you know something like that so it is thank you very much marami means much all right so we will we will go into that with quantities i have already some uh um recorded things recorded words i mean about that sandali lang po remember i told you yesterday po is a courteous expression of Filipinos. When you annex or connect or use this in your sentences, make sure that you are talking to somebody who is older than you do or somebody whom you, um, who, who has the authority over you, all right? It's like profound also, extreme. So, sandali lang po. And in English, it could be hold on. That's casual. Hold on, that means wait. Hold on or wait. All right. Pasensya ka na. Again, Filipinos usually have a very, uh, the message is said in a romantic, not romantic actually, in a very courteous I don't know how to how what the term is romantically grateful with respect of course when you are angry you cannot say it so pasensya ka na or i am sorry or sometimes if it is really extreme uh, obligation that you did not uh, comply with then you can say i apologize so sorry and apologize are almost are just the same. Uh, alis na ako and I am leaving now. Please say now because that stresses the time that you're going to leave. Uh, alis na ako. Sometimes we say, oh, uh, we got to go. I'm leaving now or we got to go. We got to uh, get going. So those are, but simply, it just means, aalis na ako. I'm leaving now. Paalam. 
So when you say, aalis na ako, you're leaving. So say, paalam or goodbye. And another way of saying um, goodbye also is um, what do you call it? the common say common common uh, greetings in America when you say goodbye. Oh, in Filipino, I mean not in in Amer in English, but in Filipino you can also say adios, paalam, adios, adios, adios is a Spanish term again which, you know, we've been colonized by the Spaniards for um, more than 300 years. And so we have adopted some of their uh, languages or part of the words that they were using before. Ingat ka. Ingat ka or take care. Or sometimes we say, uh, ingat ka kaibigan ko. You have to say it with expression of, uh, you know, love saying thank you take care my friend take much care sometimes you say that too mahal kita now you can always use mahal kita because you love what the gesture that was uh, expressed to you but that doesn't always mean that you love a person um, I love you you know it, it's just like a common expression also in America, oh, I love this. I love the one who made this, you know, something like that. So I love you. Mahal kita or iniibig kita. All right? Iniibig kita or it means I love you. How many correct answers have you got now? <laughs> have you done so far? All right. Till next episode, this is just an evaluation of me saying it in Filipino and you um, trying to recall what they are in English. And then this afternoon, I will have to record something again that says, or I am going to say it in English and you say it in Filipino. All right, I will not be able to see if you recall 50% of the Filipino greetings in English, but um, just keep, keep practicing, all right? Keep practicing. Later on, you probably would meet, you know, Asians. Filipinos are Asians. Filipinos are everywhere. If you meet somebody, then you can greet them. Somebody, kumusta? Kaibigan is a friend. So, kumusta kaibigan? So, um, you can have some of those basic conversation greetings, something like that. And after the, the English Filipino evaluation tomorrow, you are now um, going on using these expressions with conversation. So we will have, uh, we will, I, I will, I will be doing some of this probably um, through visual and audio. I will see how it will go, but I'm, I'm on that. I already recorded one. So till next episode, thank you so much. And I hope you're learning. Bye for now.